This is John. This is Steve, coming to you from Flint's Beautifully Side, Studio 1714. Still with Brian McCree here. So oh, and I just joined the Aryan Nation. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me, Mom. I'm about to get strung up in the back. <laughs> is this a clash of culture right here? <laughs> what are we oh, One God. of these things doesn't <laughs> go with the other. <laughs> One of these things just doesn't belong. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my God. He's cool as hell. Oh my God. Man, you like that? There's nothing burning out in the air. It's all good. Oh my God! So what did you shave your head? <laughs> He's bald. Man, so I don't hire on that too. Yeah, you'll be shaving. Yeah, but, yeah. yeah, give it time. Give it time. Uh-huh. When your forehead starts to meet your hair a little bit farther, it'll be you got more head than your forehead. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> You will shave it. <laughs> My dad always said that. He goes, poor man grew right through his hair. And that's what he always said when people were bald. Oh, we're seeing a bald. I can't yeah. talk. I, I don't have a receding hairline or anything. I just have a forehead like an Etzel. <laughs> <laughs> it sticks out there, huh? Yeah, this is some dome right here. Prefrontal lobe. Uh, so, uh, anyways. You have any kids? Three kids. Uh, man, if I tell their ages, y'all don't know how old I am. Uh, I got a couple grown ones. I got one in high school. Junior high, rather. Okay. So yeah, I got kids. Do they ever try to like? Do they ever try to do stand up for you or try to? They're just funny. Yeah. They don't try to do stand up and uh, no, but they they're very artistic. Like my oldest, he wants to go into radio, mm-hmm. and um, my uh, my middle son, he uh, I think he might be a writer. He's very reads a lot and is very creative in the writing vein. And my daughter, uh, she's going to be America's next top model. That's great. Oh yeah. So you know, well, that's awesome when a dad has a big head like that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Somebody dog. got to do it. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know, it's interesting. Radio still is actually a growing thing. I mean, even in this modern era, everything's digitalized, computers. Mm-hmm. It still is like you got Sirius and you got XM. Well, it seriously but, sucks. But, I mean, but it's still cool. Yeah, yeah, no, <laughs> satellite radio is cool, but regular radio is not cool. I wouldn't see that approved, but you want to talk about clear channel. <laughs> <laughs> they uh, cleared the channel. There's nothing on it. Nothing good. Nothing no interesting. Uh, uh, have you listened to his talk? He just goes off on his talk. Who's that? Howard Stern. Sure. Oh yeah, as well he should. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's right. I was surprised they allowed him to be on radio radio as long as he did because well, the guy was. They kicked him off the TV Many too. Times. I so mean, it, come yeah. on, you know. They, that's enough. We've had it. I mean, they've got him on demand. But that's about it. Would you like to do something like that? Uh, yeah, man. I, I want to make whatever it is. I want to do whatever it is that's going to make my family millions of dollars. We'll interview strippers and lesbians, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> throw lunch meat at boobies. What's not to love about that? Uh, my wife will love that. Look at this girl. <laughs> Baloney on the titty right now. <laughs> Maybe that's why he's divorced now. Yeah. <laughs> right. yeah, his wife put up a lot of his crap. Oh, she does. She does. Oh. I'll, I'll tell you a funny story. Uh, when I'm on stage, sometimes I swear it's like an out of body experience because I think I black out and this other dude just takes over, right? And, and I talk about what's on my mind. So I'm at Maxie's a uh, month, month and a half ago. And uh, this girl walked by and she had some big ass, you know. And she walked by. I was like, damn, those are some big ass titties. And then I talked about her titties for like five minutes. And then uh, I come off stage and my wife, when she goes to work with me, she'll set my merchandise up for me. So I, I come off stage and she didn't have my CDs or nothing set up. She's sitting there like, I'm like, what? I'm, she, she throws my bag at me, you know, I set my stuff up. So anyway, we're in the car and it's ice cold. <laughs> Burr! Yeah, you know how you freeze it on you. No, it's that look. Oh, yeah. And then she's driving. She's like, why do you have to do that? Why do you have to talk about other women's titties? Is that what your act is all about now, titties? I'm like, at Maxie's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know. <laughs> you know how, much, how much of the pay, uh, charge you to get back into the grace? Do you have to go buy flowers or buy her something? Or oh, man. <laughs> i got a feeling his wife's one of the two, three carat women. <laughs> <laughs> she will be. Yeah, she will be Miss Kobe Bryant. <laughs> But if I'm you mess sorry, up, like, I cheated on you. Yeah. Here's a yellow diamond. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> you, you start uh, raping women in the boom boom, you have to be able to buy them a rock. <laughs> 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 
assistant director right now. He's like, <laughs> no, 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 no. I changed the subject. <laughs> He's trying to hide oh, back yeah. to his lamp. He looks, like, he looks like he just got done eating a chili pepper. <laughs> I know, it gets beat red. red. <laughs> He's trying to laugh. He's like, <laughs> I'd like to laugh, but I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, we're making we're making sport of uh, Steve Myers over here. Yeah, yeah. I kind of have fun poking at him because now he can't say nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, now you're uh, working with a movie or something here. Uh, I am putting together uh, a bunch of sketches. I've got this zany idea of uh, putting together a sketch comedy show that I would love to be on national television, filmed principally out of Flint, and I may be a blithering idiot. To even think of it, but uh, I, I'm shooting stuff for it, and uh, we're gonna try to make it happen. Anybody that doesn't jump on with you, all I got to say is there. What, isn't the Democrat a jackass? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. You are articulate. <laughs> Yeah. No, you know, there is so much fodder for material in this town. Oh, God, yeah. You know, two light signs, two light signs, Will. You know, and I've, I've taken on the whole uh, <clears throat> rapper mantra. Like, rappers uh, glorify wherever they're from. You hear them talk about where they're from and their raps. And as a comic, I've started doing that. There's too much to draw from not to talk about Flint. What do you think about the mayor? Uh, I think he's... Uh, <laughs> Mentally challenged myself. I mean, come on, man, riding around in his fake police car with the helmet on. It's like, it's like guess what, folks? Corky's all grown up and he's mayor now. Oh, we're in the city. I just gonna save some cars. She can't stop smiling because she's had work done. Oh, oh my God! Blue, and these are my eyelashes. Feel the wind. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys won't be buying a Buick anytime soon. This time. Oh, you just charged us two percent. <laughs> right, and Don's gonna be knocking on your door. It's like, give my taxes. <laughs> oh, anyways, all right, we're gonna we're gonna, we we're gonna take result. another break. This, this is this John. Is Steve. This is John. Studio seventeen fourteen. <laughs>